what up, Beth? Just trying to shut some stuff down. I have too much stuff open on my PC. All right. Oh, what's up, Victor? Yes, I'm live on Facebook also. So, what up, Bash? Homie? So we're going to play us some Dark Cloud. Let's pick up where we left off. As always, I'm playing on the Biltendo X Retro Lizard XL. Oh, and I fixed the sound thing. Listen. Wait, you're supposed to be able to hear the games now. Well, you can a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. <clears throat> Let's get us all the way down to PlayStation Dose. Oh shit, Sega Dreamcast. What? What? Sega Saturn. Damn, Bill's doing it. What up? PlayStation. PlayStation 2. Dark Cloud. Let's go. Let's go. You should be able to hear the game sound. It's just not very loud. I don't know how to uh, make it louder. So I apologize for that. Uh, the other day, I didn't have game sound at all. Maybe I need some kind of booster for it. Let's, uh, let's full screen this. Oh, look at that. That's nice. Bing, boom, bing. We're going to continue on. Oh, I must have left it running the other day. So... Oh, no, no, no. I got about five hours in here so far. And I'm still in the first dungeon because Bill's a classic over grinder. Now, let me check my inventory, see if I need anything right this second before I go back to the dungeon. I uh, need to drink some water. And I don't have any. So let's go over to the mayor. Hey, Bash, answer me a question. Do you do this same thing? Hold on. Instead of walking, like, I'm by the gate, right? Instead of walking all the way over there to the mayor's house, do you do this? Do you do that too? It's one of the many little tricks that I've learned. Oh, oh shit. Got some fruit of Eden. Nice. That's gonna uh up my inner my my overall power, I believe. All right, let's make sure all my weapons are repaired. Uh Chris Knife plus five. That needs a repair. Also, let me go ahead and drink that water. Talk to the mayor again. It's going to take me just a minute. I just got to make sure all my weapons are 
healed up, ready to go. Yep, everything's good. Yeah, yeah, I, dude, it, it's my favorite way to travel around the villages, honestly. It's just so much easier. I, I did that in front of one of my kids, and they're like, wait, I didn't know you could do that. And I was like, yep. I call it the old Bill Tendo fast travel. We gonna get over there. That's what we own do. Oh shit, let's go to B10. Uh, so I'm gonna build up this Chris knife plus five just a little bit more, and then I'm gonna status break it and put it on my bone rapier. And as always, Bill always goes to the left first. Oh, there's an atlet right there. Oh, shit. Got that motherfudging fence. That is not an atlet. That's a bad guy, and I can't remember uh, how tough he is to kill. I haven't run into him since I've been playing it again. It is a rocking off. Oh, oh shit. I'm already about to die. All right. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to switch over to Chow and let her take him out with a slingshot. Up. Oh. Oh, shit. I done got myself in a bind. Oh, shit. Bill got himself in a bind quick. What the fuck am I doing? How do I acquire this? Uh, hold on. Let me pull up Facebook so I can see who I'm talking to. Because on my uh, thing here, it doesn't show me names from people on Facebook, on my chat log. Oh, George Willis. So George Willis. This is on PlayStation 2. It's actually on uh, Biltendo X Retro Lizard XL that I sell. Obviously, it was the first PlayStation 2 game I, I wanted on there because one of my favorite games. Shit. Man, I got to remember how to take out. I'm going to get all fucked up. You know what? I'm going to bomb him. Watch. Let's bomb him. Do I have bomb nuts? I could gooey peach him. All right, let's try that. First, let's run this way. And then we're going to turn around. And his master jack is about to get jacked up once I uh, eat some bread. Oh, I'm out of bread. I'll just eat a piece of cheese. Yeah, uh, George, they're actually $50 off right now on the website. No coupon needed. Uh, two at one time. Give me that money, bitch. $10. $10 is $10, you know? That's why I got that shirt that says, I ain't gay, but $20 is $20. Because it is. Ah, oh, shit. All right. I'm going to have to gooey peach his ass, too. Man. I'm really making a mockery of myself right now. Also, let's do this Fruit of Eden. I have a 70% 70 health. Let's move it up to 80. All right. Let's get that gooey peach up there. 
Also, let's uh put this wind gem up there. Try to use that one too. If I just keep them from moving too fast, I'll be all right. I really should be using this on PlayStation controller, but I, you know, on the retro lizard console, I use the Xbox controller for everything. Let's go to this one first. There's only one room up this way. Go ahead and clear that bad boy real quick. And there's two monsters and an antler in here. Red dots on the map are monsters. Green dots are antler. Yellow, oh, ghost. All right. Uh, and antler, uh, treasure chests are yellow or orange on my heads up map. Llama. So we're going to keep on going. Uh, now, I could drink water or I could get to that water fountain. It's kind of a trade-off right now. Sometimes I run into walls because I watch the map and not the fucking uh, actual screen. If that makes sense. Oh, this fucking guy. Like that, like that. Oh, there's a tram. Hag's house. Oh, shit. I didn't know my ex-wife was in this game. What up? Hi, Bill. Let's put some items up top in case I need them. Uh, Throbbing cherries. Uh. Not really much here I can use. I could use Dran's feather. Now, I told y'all about this feather before. Because really the guy only moves one speed. Oh, shit. I knew it! Bats always poison me. I hate the fucking bats. So goddamn annoying. Anyway. Uh, the Drans Feather will make you run faster. So if I use it while I'm walking, right? I can hit the button. It made me go a lot faster. Oh, get that speed plus one. Let's put that on my sword. I don't think I have any items on my sword. Oh, I need to go to weapon. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry, sorry. Customize. Oh, I don't... Look at all this stuff I got, and I don't have anything on my sword. Bloop, bloop. Uh, oh, let's get a Mimic Breaker on there. And definitely a Sea Killer. That'll help me with them whales for sure. All right. Now, there's a master jacket there. Uh, I'm going to run past these guys. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run on down to that waterfall and uh, refill my health and energy, and then I'll come back and kill them on the way back. There it is. So if I jump in here to fill up my health and my water. Stupid fucking bat. Of course I'm poisoned. Where's my antidote? There it is. Also, here's a little cheat for you. I'm going to show you this one. If you 
pump on the stamina drink. I hope I'm remembering this right. By the time the stamina wears off, I believe the poison, it'll make the poison wear off as well. I could be wrong. I haven't played this in a long time. But I swear that's what I remember. Oh, no. What can I throw at this guy? Uh, I think I have those throbbing cherries. That's about it. Yeah, that'll work. That works just fine. And no, I'm still poisoned. Definitely. De definitely still poisoned. Still poisoned, Bill. Lara's house. Uh, am I poisoned? Let's see. Let's wait just a second. Uh, there's an atline here. Let's get that. So, this is the way out. And I still haven't killed the monster yet that gives me the key. I don't think. Let's look. Nope. Nope. So, one of these two monsters that are left, of course, have the last key to get off the level. I need a hit home me. Up oh, there's the key. There's also an atlas and a treasure chest in here. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get some stuff. And then I'll repair my weapon. Ice gem. That'll be a good thing to throw at somebody. Uh. Oh, I need to go back this way to leave out. And then we'll leave the dungeon for a second. Go get a couple items from the mayor. And then come right back. And we're going. Bill is go leave dungeon temporarily. Back to No Room Village. All right. Let's go with water. All right. All my weapons should be good. Man, I only got to kill one more monster to... Oh, wait. One more monster to get to upgrade my sword to a plus six. And that's where we're going right now. 
We'll put some more stuff together in a little bit on the Giorama mode. Do a little more work in the village. Back to the Divine Beast Cave. Uh oh. It's probably a dual level, and I have trouble with the dual level because you need these buttons, triangle, square, etc. And I'm using an Xbox One controller. <sighs> so it takes me a couple tries to do the duels. The duels are nothing more than a, a rhythm game type thing. Oh, no, it's a. Chow only level. Shit. And her weapon's weak as shit. All right. We'll get through this as quick as we can. All right. Let's make sure we put a sea killer on her slingshot, especially with. We're going to go double C killer. Especially with those whales on this board. The Opars. Also, if I got an item, let's use an item. Which item did I just say would make a good weapon? Up. Oh. Ah, uh, it's not the best. I'm not going to use that right away. Great, now I need a soap. And... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm losing half my money because I didn't have a stupid stand-in powder. Oh, no. Oh, well. I just lost half my money. That was dumb. So how much do I have now? Ah. What's up, D-Hubs? Okay, let's repair Chow's weapon. Get some more repair powder. All right, now we're going to put some things together because I can pick up treasure chests. From around people's houses when I put them together. So we're going to do that for a second. Um, with Chow not being strong at all. I need to see what I can throw at monsters. As opposed to just using the. Uh... Oh that's true. Stand in powder doesn't. But you know what. It. Escape powder should have worked, right? Oh, I uh, also just saw your comment that I don't need soap if I die. So that's accurate. I mean, it makes you kind of a dick, but it's accurate. So they need a fence and a lamp at this house. Let's go ahead and give them that. And let's see who lives here. Auntie with a small daughter. A little fireball. Auntie and Laura. All right. And maybe. I don't think you could put them on if it's the wrong thing, right? Right. So I had that right. All right. Now let's arrange this house.
And we're going to drop in right here. Run around, see if there's any treasure chests on the outside of this house. Because that's what we do. We just steal shit. Yep, there's one. Come on. I got a gourd. That'll increase my water. That's good. Now let's go see if there's anything inside. Got some water. A door that doesn't open, so they're going to want an annex room. Another power up out. All right. Tell me how to rebuild your house. The tricycle. Okay. Will do. So we'll pop back up in the Giorama mode. Configure assembly. We don't have a tricycle. So, can't help out there. See if we have their last two items. Ooh, I think I got a pee. Up oh, treasure chest right behind the door. Sky Hunter. Nice. Won't let me go in there. Okay. Fair enough. Hey, what up, guy? He's a... All right. So he wants a wheel. And Paige would like... Lamp. We have lamps. Uh, so now we'll give them what they want. And uh, if we have that stuff in the inventory already, that will trigger a mini event at Paige's house. So a lamp and a wheel, and we have both. So uh, we'll trigger the mini event, and let's see what it is. Maybe they'll give us something really cool. Let's go back in and see what we get. Oh, a pouch. That means I can hold more stuff now. That's good because I was starting to get filled up with junk. All right, give me some extra spaces. Nice. All right. Definitely look around the house again after an event because sometimes more chests appear. Come on, swing on around. All right, let's go back inside for just a second. All right. Is there anything else we could put together right now? Take a look. Oh, we haven't put the hag's house anywhere. And again, we don't do the gaffer buggy. That's the last thing in the village we do. Remember that. Because if you do the gaffer's buggy, you no longer get free stuff from the mayor. All right. Let's see what we can loot from here. Look, there's a chest right there. What's in it? 
a dino slayer for our sword. Nice, nice. Anything in the back? Sometimes yes, sometimes no, nothing. Let's go inside and see what we can loot out of this poor old lady's house. Oh, look. Another power-up powder. Holy shit. Magical power for my sword. Undead buster. Nice, nice. Well, we're getting all kinds of stuff while this lady ain't home. I don't think you can go into this room. Nope. All right. Let's head back to the cave. I'll just send, need your email and I'll send you an invoice. All right. Sorry. Bill still has to work, you know. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let's see if we can do better this time. <clears throat> let's see if we can do a little better on this go around. Oh, hell no. Hell no. Not a nooch. Oh, great. Fish food. No fucking way. What the fuck? Nah, forget it. I'm just damaging my weapon all up for nothing. I can't even kill this piece of shit. Takes me two hits to kill a bat. This is garbage. Garbaggio. Not happy right now. I am. I just don't realistically see a way to make it through this level as weak as I am. I'm going to have to go back and make her slingshot super strong. At this point, I'm going to have to go back and grind a little. Let's 
see? Yeah, I got to go back and do a little grind. I'm losing all my fucking money. No. Ah! All right, y'all give me five minutes to go take a leak. I'll be right back.
All right, back. Sorry for the delay. Uh, and as suggested the other day, I will definitely not be getting a uh, pee bottle. That sounds horrendous. And you know what? If my wife ever came down to my studio and saw a pee bottle, I'd have to move out. <laughs> Ah, uh, all right, let's go. Uh, so I'm going to go back to the first couple levels is the first thing I'm going to do. Let me check, make sure child's weapon is good. Uh, no, it's not. Let's repair that. We'll go get another repair powder. Um, and then I'm going to go back to the first couple levels and grind and build up her slingshot a little bit. That way, when I have to use her, I can uh, then I can she'll be strong enough to just breeze through the level. Can't believe the first level I'll run into dragons on. I have a base weapon. Terrible. All right. So let's get over there. And we're going to start on level one with Chow. Like I said, we're going to build that slingshot up. Uh, I'm going to go back when it's at uh, about a plus five. So it's going to take a little bit of work. Probably take us about a half an hour to an hour to get her weapon strong enough to go and breeze through that level. Um, it's fine for me. All right, so let's. I hear. Got him. All right, and apparently. She needs water already. Thirsty girl. That's okay. Can't let it affect our health. There is the way out right there. Nice. Nice little treasure chest. Tram oil. Boy, I'm banking tram oils. That's good. That's good. Why is it taking four shots to take out a stupid bat? All right, let's get that antidote. Can't believe I got poisoned when I got a slingshot. Weapon durability is okay at this point. No chests in here. That beeping need, means my weapon needs to be repaired. I'd like to get a couple more shots out of it. All right. Now we'll repair it.
Up oh, and there's the key off the level. So we'll be able to leave anytime we want. Was there a chest in here anywhere? No, but there is another dasher. We should kill him so that we can go up to a plus one on the slingshot. Nice. Make sure I got stuff on there. Yes, I do. Let's upgrade it. You know what? We can upgrade it again right now because I have a bunch of upgrade powders. So we're going to make this. Definitely get that Dragon Slayer on there. We're going to shorten this process a lot. And we're going to upgrade one more time. And that's going to make my weapon a lot stronger right off the bat. It's already a plus three. Oh, we want to go this way into this room, down this corridor uh, as the exit. What do we got in here? I'm going to kill it. Two shots per bat now. Oh, the closer you are, the easier it is to kill them. Okay, makes sense. Let's get that energy. Oh, shit, there's a lot more stuff on this level. I don't know if I have enough because my weapon is weak at this point. But we could do a little bit. What's behind me? So my weapon is pretty damn weak at this point. I was trying to open that chest. All right, now we can get off this level. What's up, Mike? What's up, Lala? What it do? And now we'll go back. We'll repair our weapon. We'll go back to the mayor. Get some supplies. Come back. Keep building up the weapon because that's pretty much what we got to do right now.
Leave dungeon temporarily. Temporarily. I don't think you can switch characters outside the dungeon. Mayo's got a nice bathtub. Okay. All right, back to the dungeon. Uncle Billy, that's so sweet. You know, uh oh. We get child slingshot up to a plus five. I'm going to be a happy camper. Happy camper. Yep. The closer you are, the better the slingshot works, apparently. Apparently. Banana. This game is bananas. Yep. There's the exit. Treasure chest. There's three treasure chests in this room. And a lot of monsters that I didn't see. Where are they at? Got him. And there's the boss key. Nice. Robin Cherry. Nice. Where's that other? There it is. There it is. And... Stamina drinks. Stamina drinks are always helpful. I don't walk on the circles. Sorry, it's not my jam. Bill doesn't like to gamble. He's not that kind of man. Let's get this bread. So 
son of a bitch. Lucky I didn't get poisoned. Up, oh, there's a weapon in that chest. Another bone rape, yeah. I can't wait to get Steve. Steve is her one of her weapons, and it's a talking slingshot. All right, so it's two church. We're going to the backboard on this one. Hey, it's on the Mike, it's on the uh retro lizard XL. I don't know if y'all have one or not. I can't keep up anymore. But it's on the Retro Lizard X, another tram oil, so I'm not even wasting one. That's what's up. Uh, hopefully, there's a waterfall on that backboard. Let's go to the backboard and let's see what it looks like. Uh, so, we put some tram oil. Now, the backboards have harder enemies, but the treasure chests are better. So we should get some cool attachments for our weapons back here. Hoping for a ruby. This monster is pumped with energy. Okay, let's go ahead and drink some water. There's a waterfall back here. It's all the way on the other side of the level. I'm never going to make it there without losing health. Mike, do you guys have a reg the regular Biltendo X Retro Wizard? Because if you do, we can just upgrade it for you. Easy enough. Oh, they're all pumped with energy. That's great. We upgrading right now. You don't have one? Oh, we got to do something about that. We definitely have to do something about that. See how much XP these monsters are giving me in comparison to the front level? But every one of them is pumped with energy, too. So they're a lot harder to kill. And let's see what we got in these treasure chests. Come on, cool shit. 
Antidote amulet. Love it. That's going straight up top. That keeps you from getting poisoned. <clears throat> Doom 2 on what platform? Doom and Doom 2 are on my uh, new alpha build that I'm working on. Also, I legitimately have... I'll have to check if it's Doom or Doom 2. I have the PC version here. CIB. Thunder Gem. Nice. So, excuse me. It looks like we're going to be getting accoutrements on this. Some nice little handheld weapons. And as always, one chest that's better than the others on these bat boards. So that's why I'm always hoping for a ruby. I think the diamond's pretty good too, opal. Uh, but the ruby's always been my favorite. Oh, shit. All right, so obviously I need to go ahead and take out that uh, skeleton first. Um, let's go get these two treasure chests real quick since my weapon's getting low. Come on, Ruby. Aquamarine, big stone, good deal. I did a backboard the other day and got two aquamarines on the same board. That was nice. Ice gem, nice. Nice. Let's hit this water. Now, if we switch to her real quick, she'll get the XP for that. <laughs> now we'll just switch back and finish off the level. I don't want to accidentally use the slingshot and break it. Oh, and all these monsters respawn now. Oh, shit. He's full. Uh, 
a little wind, a little holy, some attack. Beast and mage. So we'll get there. Well, we got to run a gauntlet to get to the end of this level, huh? Ain't shit, though. Not for Bill. Leave Dungeon temporarily. I think we got Child strong enough to uh, get past that level, right? She's got to be. Let's get her a plus one more. And we leveled her up pretty damn quick. Gotten lucky. She's got to be strong enough to get through. So let's go see. Let's take a look at her real, her weapon real quick. It's a plus four. Mm. That aquamarine ought to. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I think she's fine now. Get past that level with no problem. Got lucky and leveled her up fast. Fast, fast. Let's go. Let's try it again. And watch. This time, like the first thing that's going to fucking happen... Is I'm going to kill the first monster and it's going to drop the key this time. Watch. Oh shit, dragon. Got him. Oh, my God, really?
shit. And no key. This is a fucking horrific level. I'm just saying. I can't repair my shit again. I only have one repair powder. Sure, give me fish bait. Seems. Fucking apropos at this time. Great. Multiple dragons again. I don't have what it takes to kill multiple dragons. Let's try some handheld weapons. Um, let's see what we got for handheld weapons. Not really anything. Crazy. There's no way I can complete this level. Unless I get treasure chest full of bombs. I don't fucking get it. What's up, Kelly? Oh, shit. I can't kill anybody to get the key to get off this level. It's crazy. Oh, so...
This is Dark Cloud on the PlayStation 2. Kelly, it's my favorite game. Except right now, it's not my favorite game. Because you build up your weapons to make you stronger. And um, I thought I built up her weapon enough. And I didn't. Because you can't get the key to the next level. Until you kill the monster that has it. And my weapon is not strong enough to kill anything else on this level. I gotta leave. Ah! I had to punk out. That sucked. Alright, I mean, we'll... Go to the mayor, get some supplies, and go do it again. Maybe it's time to put the gaffer's buggy together because if I do that, then I could buy multiple repair powders. Right? All right, let's put the buggy up, I guess. <clears throat> let's give that a try. Do I actually even have any money? $120. That'll do something. All right, let's put the buggy up. So, let's go to the gaffer's buggy. I don't have a lamp for him. That's it. No more free stuff from the mayor. All right. Oh, I got to go to the configure menu. Yeah, I did that. Now let me buy stuff. I think I gotta get his ass a lamp. For, oh, here's a little free something. Speed 3. We got anything behind the buggy? Yep, I see it. I see it. Oh, fluffy donut. Alright. That'll come in handy in a minute. Um, Let's take a lamp from somebody. That's what we're going to need to do to complete him. So who do we give a lamp to that's not complete right here? Let's take the lamp from the hag because we don't even have her. All right. So you got to make sure you have macho. Out before you put the gaffer buddy bugger buggy together because if you don't, the gaffer will try to put the sign up himself and get hurt, and then his store will only have half the items. All 
I'm visiting your shop right now. I want extra repair powders. If I have extra repair powders, I can. Oh, yeah, he's got all kinds of stuff. So this is also auto repair powder. I like to keep in my active menus. And what happens is if you forget to repair an item. Then it'll repair it automatically. Oh, nice little revival powder. Check out his circle. Um, at 10, we could get an extra water and let's get an extra bread. Uh, you could sell him stuff also. That is 1,200. That's good. All right. Now I have $1,200. Now what I want to do is I want to grab one of these gold pieces, right? Now, if you have gold, that will, um, you don't lose half of that when you leave a dungeon. All right. Back to the dungeon. Wait. All right. Oh, yeah. We, I can get through anything now. Get through anything and everything. And. Let's go. I'm here to kick ass to take names. I mean, it's going to take me a minute to kill everything. Really? What? Now that I'm so strong, all the monsters are fucking bats and not dragons? That's fucking crazy. Bone key. That's what your mom gave me to her front door. She called it the bone key. It was weird. My like, that's awkward. But it makes sense. Oh, and now I get bombs. And 
There's the key to finish the level. This is some bull the bullshit. I hear a dragon. All right, somebody in the chat, real quick. Are we picking the big box or the small box? I don't care. You guys pick. Big box or small box? Anybody, the first person to answer. Small box it is, Beth. I got a potato cake. Fucking thanks. Uh oh. Run through here real quick. Eat a piece of bread. We're going to get it now. I'm getting these dragons. Got them. Got them. Prickly acquired, that's good for 200 bucks. Oh, holy gem. Nice. Right. Oh, so let's do this.
that will actually keep you from dying. It's a lot like having a fairy in a jar in Zelda. The revival powder, except you could just buy these. Not cool, bro. Ah, this is what the bone key is for. You can't get to the exit of the stage on this one without getting here. There's the exit. Ah, uh, there's another treasure chest this way, and I want it. Oh, it's just a map. What monster is this? Opar. Let me get that XP. Remember, don't let the yellow cloud hit you. Because it's goo. One more monster on this whole level. Where you at? Fucking bat. All right. Well, that's it, folks. We passed the level. And we're going to go on to the next one. That's good, because this one was a pain in the ass, because I had to go back and build up her weapon and all of that. Needed to be done anyway. So the game kind of forces you to catch up. Um, you can grind all you want. But at some point, all of your uh, companions have to have a certain level of strength to proceed. Well, Shizzle, I let him get too close to me. We're just going to switch over to our regular player now. <clears throat> Since only he can open the Geo, the Atla. To put things together. T 
So, Phelps statue, Bob. You're going to fuck around and find out. You're going to learn today. Oh, I've already been that way. This way. Get that cheese. Get that map. Oh. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Oh, shit. All right. Let me get my barons. Let me get a weapon. I'd rather throw something at him. Let's uh try a holy gem. Can't remember what that'll do, but we're going to find out. I didn't get that second swing in there fast enough. Oh, you know what? I have this gourd. So, uh, I think I have a tasty donut also. Or did I eat that already? Make me a little bit stronger, a little bit more resistant. <laughs> a lot of at on this level. Homie's just getting bombed. Oh, break my heart. How much you want to bet that's a king mimic? Let me kill these two bastards. 
And then I'm going to open that chest. I'm willing to bet it is not a weapons chest and that it's a King Mimic. All right. I knew it. I did call it. <laughs> Got him. Um, bring my All right. Uh, we definitely going to go on the backboard here. I want to get some cool stuff, right? But it's always a good idea. I, it, I don't like leaving things undone before I move on as far as going back and forth between the front and the back of a level. Let's get on the tram. Let's do it. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Unbreak my heart. Say you love me again. Well, chisel. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm about to leave for food. I'm about to leave for food. I uh, just wanted to check before I do. Can I go to Dollar General and get drinks? Mm hmm. Okay. That was all. I'm leaving now to go get it, though. Sounds good. So, um,. Let's switch to Chow. Let her get the XP for the dragons, but we got to repair her weapon. Oh, and it's a pumped full of energy dragon. course of course it is
I hear a dragon. I don't see him. He's definitely in this room, though. Oh, Perido. That's a good stone. Let's see what the Perido does. So we'll customize. So it adds to attack. All right. It adds to holy. It adds to plant killer and beast killer. Nice. Peridot is a good one. <laughs> Thanks, Beth. Well, y'all are going to have to excuse me in a minute. I've drank in too much Red Bull. And with my, uh, oh, anti-freeze amulet. That's a good one. And with my uh, blood pressure medicine. Oh, an aquamarine and a peridot on the same level. Let's see what other, what else is in the treasure chest here. Wind gem. Let's hit him with that wind gem, and it's not going to kill him. But it'll make the job easier with the slingshot. Not much, though. Nice. Nice. Uh oh. No. Stand in powder. Ah, I don't have a stand in powder. Crud. All right, five-minute break time. Be right back.
All right, and I'm back in. Uh, I had to go talk to Lucas because he went to go get us some food. All right, that's plenty enough money to get items. Shit, now I gotta buy stuff. All right, he doesn't have any cheese. All right. How much do you get for tram oil? Let me get two golds. Now I need to spend two hundred and forty three dollars. Whoops. I accidentally just sold a sword. How much does it give you for a pair of dough? 600. Hmm. Interesting. What's a... Uh... Billy, Billy, banana, fan of full fan. All right, let's uh. Oh, we don't have any people, so we're not gonna worry about a range. Well, we'll put all Nets house in. How's that? Right there. Uh. Now. At some point, we're going to have to spend a few minutes here. And uh, what we're going to end up doing is rearrange rearranging the whole town, basically. To uh, Everybody's going to have a special request. 
So eventually we'll rearrange the whole town. Fruit of Eden, nice. And a gourd. So we'll go to items real quick. Because we're almost out of space. We'll take that Fruit of Eden. And that'll bring us up to a 90 on health. And we'll use the gourd. And that'll bring us up to five waters. And I think I'm at my max water for now. Cool beans. Back to the dungeon. Darn it. When Lucas gets back in a few minutes with food, then I'm going to turn this off for about a half an hour to go eat. All right. All I need to do on this level is get the key. So I don't know what I have to kill. Maybe I got to kill everything. Maybe I don't. We're going to find out. Up. Oh. Gonna need a bone key to get past there. Oh, you know what I just realized? I haven't saved in a long time. That's a mistake. He's much better at dealing with Master Jackets because they'll block the slingshot. Oh, I missed a chest in that room. So we're going to go back and see what that is in just a second. There's my map. Let's go see. And another escape powder. Nice. I don't have much room to hold supplies now. That's for sure. Um, I'm going to have to use some stuff. My pockets aren't big enough. And I can't put anything in storage yet.
I ain't running from nothing. I hate the mimics, man. I prefer to use chow with the mimics because you can keep your distance. The game has audio. It's just really low. I mean, I could hear it in my headphones. Um, I have to figure out how to adjust that. It's not just you. You know what? Let me see if this will work. Hold on. Hold on. Give me a minute. All right. Let me sound. Can you hear that better now? Ah. Oh.
There's the key. There it is. Weapons full. Upgrade time. Um, it's funny you ask what this game's about and it gives off Ocarina vibes because I always felt like it was Sony's attempt on the PlayStation 2 to make their own type of Zelda game. And, um, I like that vibe. It, that's probably why it's my favorite game because my favorite series is Zelda. Most specifically, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And then Twilight Princess. But, yeah, it's definitely got some Zelda vibes to it here and there. It's, you know, got a similarity. Action, adventure, RPG. Absolutely, this is going to go on your Odin, too. Right, let's get back to our main... We, God damn it. He can't make these jumps, but she can. Anyway, I'm going to try to use him, my main character on this level, because I still want to build up his sword more. Um, it's kind of like the main thing with this game is building your swords. All right. Fucking annoying. Oh, shit. I knew I heard a fucking dragon in this bitch. Fuck it, let's kill a dragon. Only Tone can open the Atla because of the gem on his glove. All right. We can go out this door. We can't, we don't have the bone key yet. There's a treasure chest. I hear a Fucking another dragon.
And the closer you are to him, the more powerful your hits are with the slingshot. Uh, if you're right up on him, it does more damage than if you're real far away. Oh, Spyro was the best, man. I fucking love Spyro. Come on, Lucas, where you at with my food? I'm fucking starving over here. Starving over here. I've been playing for two and a half hours and I just want something to eat. Can I get a... We're going to hit that waterfall and re-energize both of us. No. No Taco Bell, bro. He actually went to go get us uh, bacon cheeseburgers from this little deli on the, called The Corner. It's like 10 minutes away from here or something like that. Nice little spot. Wait. Can I kill the whale from in here? Nope. It won't let me use my weapon in there. And remember, don't get too close to the whale because he'll blow out a yellow cloud and he does it when he dies. You'll see in just a second and it makes you all sticky and you can't move fast. That's what your soap is for. Yes, it actually did have a sequel, and uh, it was also on the PS2, but the thing is, like, the sequel is called Dark Cloud 2. Um, the interesting thing about that is Dark Cloud 2 is the game that introduced... I'm coming upstairs to eat. Um, the Dark Cloud 2 is the game that actually introduced gaming's first real crafting system. Uh if it wouldn't have had that, um, you wouldn't have the crafting systems you do in games like Skyrim. Uh, they're all pretty much directly based off of Dark Cloud 2. So I'm going to finish this level and then I'm going to go eat. Who's that on Facebook? Because, again, uh, when I'm on YouTube... Uh, um, my browser, my chat log doesn't show uh, Facebook user names. It's Jake Shackelford. Jake, what's up? In case y'all don't know, Jake is the head at 
excuse me, is the head admin of my Discord channel, of my Discord server. So if you're not on my Discord, you should join. Uh, Jake runs that completely by himself. It's awesome. Um, we're trying to get more action going there, but, you know, I need more people. I need active people. And then we could start doing cool stuff there, too. But it all takes time. You know, nothing happens overnight. But Jake's doing a great job. Oh, no. Um, right now in the Discord, basically, uh, we're just keeping everybody informed of all the stuff that I work on. Um, I'd like to have more conversations there because it's like a real time chat, you know? Is that a fucking dragon I hear? Oh, it's an Opar. Is there a Discord link somewhere? Um, yeah, I'd have to get it for you. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. Send me a PM. Send me a message, and uh, I'll send you the link. Get that bread. You say you love me again. So we have two Atla and two enemies left on this level. Let's see what they're going to be. Rocking off. Chow can fight the rock and off because she could do it from a distance. If we could get him stuck on the wall here, nice and close, just like that. Perfect. What do we have over here? Another rock and off. And we'll switch back the tone because Chow can't open the Atlas. And then we're going to open one more Atlas. We're going to go to the exit. And then I am going to uh, kill this stream so I can go eat for a little bit and chill out. And maybe we'll stream a little more this afternoon because I'm actually having fun. I love this game. And there's our exit straight across. And on this level, the exit key is a Dran's Crest, which one of the monsters have. Different levels have different uh, keys. Uh, we're still on the first level of this because I take my time with this game. I don't rush through it. We're going to leave the dungeon temporarily so I can save. Back to Norun Village.
All right, let's go ahead and save. Let's see when the last time I saved was. So I have four hours and 32 minutes. And now I have... Six hours and 31 minutes. So an extra couple hours. So, guys, um, again, I was playing this on the Biltendo X Retro Lizard XL. If anybody's interested, they're on my website, uh, Biltendo.com. Check them out. They're actually on sale. They're $50 off right now. If you don't have one, you should have one. You're doing a disservice to yourself. Jake is right. Um, we want to do some giveaways on uh, on on the Discord. So if you join the, if we get some people to join the Discord, I'll do some free giveaways there for sure. All right, everybody, go check out the Discord. And thanks for hanging out with me. <laughs> 